As of the creation of this video, it's been 13 years since 9-11, but it doesn't feel like it for most Americans. Could it be because the tragedy itself had such a lasting mark? Perhaps. But the main reason is because the conflict which started only a month after is the same conflict today. Which brings the event into perspective. Yes, the attacks were horrendous and took thousands of lives, but it became a symbol of things to come. Today we remember 9-11 not only for the loss of life, but that every September 11th it is a reminder of the situation the United States is still in. No, not that somebody will fly a plane into a building at any moment, but that we're still in the same wars, fighting virtually the same people over the same issues. Kids that were in first grade when the attacks first happened are now fighting off in Afghanistan. Yes, this is a video about 9-11. It's supposed to be depressing. What'd you expect? Warm feelings and fuzzy bunnies? Anyway, the point is 9-11 plays a huge role in the United States today, not only because of the war on terror, but the Patriot Act, the reading of emails, <coughs> NSA. Which brings us to an interesting question. What if in an alternate timeline, the September 11th attacks never happen? For whatever reason, the attacks just don't occur, or any attack that would resemble 9-11. What would this change? Well, here's one scenario. Now we all know September 11th, 2001. Two planes hijacked and crashed into the World Trade Center, one crashed into the Pentagon and another fails to hit its target, and ended up in a field in Pennsylvania. In total, roughly 3,000 die. In response to this, the United States declares a war on terror, and invades Taliban-controlled Afghanistan. The Taliban harbored Al-Qaeda, and because of this, the United States went in and overthrew them, yet failed to get Bin Laden. The occupation began, nation building started, and then Iraq happened. So what if all of this just never occurred? What would be different? The most obvious place that would change is Afghanistan. Had no attacks take place, the Taliban never would have been overthrown. At least not by Americans. Would the Taliban have stayed in power to this day? Who knows. What would this alternate 2000s look like? 9-11 changed the US outlook on the world, and vice versa. The difference the attacks made was it gave the US backing support for invading another nation. Without 9-11, the American public never would have wanted to go into a Middle Eastern country and occupy it. So in this alternate timeline, if smaller terrorist attacks happened to American locations or bases, the US still would have fought against Al-Qaeda and jihadist groups, just in a smaller way. Cruise missiles, special forces, and eventually drones would be used to bring down jihadist groups. This would be seen in Afghanistan and Somalia. In a way, this would be a war on terror, but this war, quote unquote, would be a small, loosely connected band of operations against ragtag jihadist groups in Afghanistan or wherever those camps may be. So without 9-11 and the war on terror, how different would the world really be? For one thing, the Great Recession still would have happened. The factors which led to it, such as the housing bubble and the banking crisis, all happened independent of the War on Terror. Had no 9-11 happened, we still would be seeing the same economic situation that we're in today. Sorry, EU. The Arab Spring still would have occurred. Many people across the Middle East still would have lived with horrible regimes, which would cause uprisings across the Arab world. However, in this alternate timeline, the US would have the greatest change. 9-11 not only brought the war on terror, but the complete change in how the government interacts with its citizens. The whole constitutionality issues that we see today would not exist in this alternate reality. Speaking of the government, George W. Bush's presidency would be relatively uneventful. He'd be more of a domestic president. Without 9-11 or a 9-11-like event, he would not be hated as much across the world and at home. Would he still be re-elected? Most likely, though his response to Katrina would still be horrible. 9-11 is significant not just because of the horrendous events. It is important because it caused a massive shift between the illusion of a prosperous future and a harsh reality. That, perhaps, is the biggest change. Since this event is so recent, it's impossible to know the true ramifications. This is just one scenario though, as there are endless possibilities for what could have happened. Can't wait to see the fantastic comments. Like us on Facebook, subscribe if you have not done so. This is Cody from the Alternate History Hub.